class it's not about next generation it's not about students there are students and faculties of the forensic and please that you can check with the genetic engineering people it's not about current generation next generation we are feeding future generations look at the disorders and diseases of the in the child of the people who are victims of the drug and they are uh, you know they are consuming the drugs the dna the genetic engineering would show you the the kind of disease and the, the would be there in the students so dear students let's take oath let's make government and the university and to support ourselves our family say no to drug if we notice it is a very bold step many a times you don't know even that how you are becoming part of that please ensure that you don't become part of this trafficking you respected professor dr vipi bajaj vice chancellor of the university professor dr ekz
just look at the, at the numbers and uh, out of these 375 million people, when 36 million people were the, I can say, those who need treatment for this uh, drug consumption. So uh, that was the uh, world data. Coming to uh, India, so Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment, they, uh, they conducted two surveys. One in 2004 and one in 2019. So, if I tell you the numbers, how this, uh, what I can say, the drug uh, substance, uh, we can say the substance uh, use or the drug abuses, they are increasing. So, uh, let me tell you the total figure. In 2004, when this survey was conducted, the total drug consumers in India were 110. Uh, I can say that's 11 million. Now, just after in 2004 and 2019, it is 689 lakhs, 68 million. So just think about this, just within 15 years. So there is six times increase in the number of people who are consuming drugs. Six times, this is a very huge uh, increase in the consumption of the uh, this drugs. So in India, right now 3.1 crore people, uh, they are consuming this cannabis, that too in 2019. After two, two, 2019, there was a pandemic, so definitely there will be huge increase in the uh, con con consumption of this cannabis. And uh, others also, this heroin in 2004, only 0.2% uh, people were consuming, but now 1.4% people are consuming. So this is just, I'm giving you the data just to imagine uh, the, the speed with which it is increasing. So just to control all these things, this is not the responsibility of the law enforcement agencies or the police, we, uh, normally we say the police agency, this is the responsibility of each and every individual of this country to control this. And just to make you aware, we are gathered here, you should know that, that there are a lot of things, uh, just uh, as uh, your uh, dean, social manager, he just uh, conveyed you that he talked to one doctor and he uh, uh, told him just to read the books. This is not, this is not, uh, this is the fact also. If you will ask me personally, uh, uh, whenever uh, I start reading book in the night, so this, uh, what I can say, within 10 to 15 minutes, uh, so, this is the fact and you should use this, you should not say that since I'm uh, having some sleep disorders and other things and that because of that I consume this drug and uh, this mood lifters or other things. A lot of excuses uh, we give to the people, we give to the family, uh, we give to our teachers to just to consume these things. So we should avoid all these things. And, uh, uh, let me tell you one more thing, uh, what this government of India and Narcotics Control Bureau is doing. Uh, you must have, some of uh, you must have seen it on the website also. We have started a e, uh, an e-pledge uh, where you can just visit the website of uh, this mygov.in uh, uh, government of India website, very Sardar website. And you have one app on the Google Play Store also. So just download that app or visit this uh, mygov.in website. So there is a uh, there is an uh, attachment which is uh, like say no to drugs, say yes to life pledge. Just it, 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 it hardly takes three to four minutes to take that pledge. So uh, you'll get one certificate also after taking this after filling your data and after taking this uh, e pledge. So what I can say, uh, this is very small thing, but uh, let me tell you the people or the students who are very, uh, very young age, suppose uh, uh, approximately 16, 17, 18 years or 14 years, uh, they come to know about this uh, drugs and this pledge. So definitely it will, it will have some impact on the people and uh, it will give uh, some good, uh, I can say, Result uh, in a broader aspect also. So uh, that's one thing which I just want to convey you. So I request uh, uh, Vice Chancellor Ma'am also and uh, Dr. A.K. Jain to.
make them aware and we are actually requesting all the university, all the colleges, all, all the schools also. We are just giving all the details how to uh, reach this website and app and you can download. Uh, there's an analytics also, means the government of India is managing all these things and if you uh, visit this website, you'll get the figures also. State wise figure is there, how many people they have taken this interest. Uh, 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 you'll get the figure of Delhi, uh, Maharashtra, every state, every state. So I'll request that all the state they should be. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is very lovely. Good information for all the people who are sitting over here. So that's very interesting, ma'am. And uh, definitely, NCB and all the law enforcement agencies they are trying to uh, reach out to the students and the normal people for this in place. This will this will definitely give some impact. And uh, we are also uh, what we can say we are just uh, putting the signages on the hotels and restaurants and bars. There's the mention of this narcotic drugs and psychotropics substances. They are illegal. So. These are the things uh, which we are doing. So I'll, I'll request all of you to help the government of India to help all the law enforcement agencies in controlling this drug uh, I'll also I'll also request you. Suppose you uh, somehow you encounter or you find a friend or any relative or any person already who is considering this drug, try to approach them, approach their family, try to. Uh, Right, and what I can say, convince them or their family that they should leave this little thing. Uh, and also, I, I also, since you are in the uh, school and colleges and you are staying in uh, hostels also, so let me tell, tell uh, some few things about how to identify uh, uh, a friend or a person or a relative who is uh, consuming drugs, suppose he is hiding. So, a lot of uh, what I can say, the, you, uh, uh, this physical appearance, this will give a very clear. Uh, indication that he is uh, consuming drugs like uh, some uh, what I can say the blood shots or red eyes he'll find some slurred speech and definitely he'll be reclusive suppose uh, a person who is very uh, socially active but after one year or six months or eight months now he's reclusive he's uh, mostly he's choosing that I'll, I'll sit in my room so these are the clear indications that he is doing something wrong so try to at least uh, look for these things and uh, what I can say is suppose you are finding, suddenly you are finding that uh, my friend or relative is consuming this cigarette, he is having some silver foils, he is having some lighters and other things. So these are the things uh, which are indicators which can, uh, which can uh, give you an indication that your friend or relative is consuming drugs. So try to help them. Uh, and, uh, and try to convince their families also. So these are the things uh, I'll request you all to not only really, you, since you are sitting here, you are just knowing about all these things. Uh, I can also, uh, uh, if ma'am accepts this, I can send my officials here also. They will uh, at least some, uh, make them aware about this. Actually, the, uh, the narcotic drug and psychotropic substances, uh, the punishments are very, uh, what I can say, the stern access are being taken by the government and the court. So at least uh, if, if, if uh, students they know about these things, so definitely they tell uh, the other people in the society also, and they'll uh, what I can say make them aware about all these things. So uh, let me again uh, thank you that uh, on Sunday you accepted uh, our offer, and you all have gathered here in a very large a large number. So thank you very much for accepting our offer, and uh, definitely I thank. Uh, Dr. Pritu Vijayat Ma'am, Vice Chancellor and Dr. A.K. Jain and Dr. Ira Pandey and all the stars of the Lutia University that they uh, they have associated with us in uh, celebrating this day, for example, the Sunday against drug abuse and things in trafficking. Thank you very much. Thank you.
कि देश को बदलना है दुनिया से ड्रग को मिटाना है क्या कर रहे हैं इसके लिए बहुत ज्यादा कुछ नहीं करने की जरूरत है बस अपने आसपास देख लीजिए कि आपकी क्लास में पढ़ने वाला कोई आपके घर में रहने वाला कोई आपका दोस्त तो सिर्फ बस नहीं है अगर अपने अपने आसपास से लोगों को उसके जाल में जाने से रोक लिया और जो चला गया है उसको समझाकर वापस ले आए तो हम ये जन बहुत जल्द Jai Hind Jai Hind Jai Hind Jai Hind